everyone and welcome back to my YouTube channel. Today we're gonna continue watching Supernatural. We're in season one and I think we're gonna watch episode 10. I feel like I'm getting further into the show, but then I realized today, I mean, I knew there were many seasons, but there are 15? There are 15? Like, how long is that even gonna take me to finish? I mean, I'm kind of happy because I also don't want it to end. But for some reason, I thought it was like eight seasons. <laughs> it's quite a lot more than I thought, which is, you know, it's good. In the last episode, we watched the one where both mom and dad Winchester makes an appearance. I feel like that was one of the best episodes. I got more answers, more questions, and it was just genuinely so freaking exciting. I loved it so heckin' much. I want to know what their dad meant um, and also I want to know why he doesn't want to see them as well as why did the mom say sorry many questions but I'm so excited to watch this one no idea what to expect but I'm excited if you are new here welcome welcome in my name is Cora I am also a twitch streamer and I create YouTube gaming content as well it's really lovely to have you here and if you're not new well welcome back i hope that you're all ready for this ride i don't know if i am but let's get into the video it's about asylum oh god i feel like this is gonna be terrifying is it gonna be terrifying of course it's an abandoned asylum Oh no, locked door, that cannot be good. Is this gonna be some sort of like teenagers who wants to come in and explore, make a video or something like that? They're very quiet though. Okay, wait, so someone broke in, I'm assuming, and then someone called the police. I forgot you're not local. You don't know the legend. Legend? A legend that's true. It's haunted with the ghosts of the patients. Oh, so kids go in there to spend the night and like test, test the, they go against the ghost story. Hmm. Police officers. There have been some parties there. Maybe some people living there. Why was that locked door? If you wanna, you wanna do it, you can do it, I guess. I mean, if they desperately want to see what's behind that door, what's how scary it is, then of course they're gonna just bust the door in uh, or bring bolt cutters if need be. Oh, the poor police officer new to town. He's gonna get hurt, isn't he? Pretty sure. Holding my breath. <laughs> I just realized I'm holding my breath. That 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 doesn't look like a room you should go into. Just a wild guess. Even though it's old and it doesn't being like it's not being used. If it's as hazardous, I would not. I would not enter. <laughs> All right. Come on out. Oh. There they are. Oh, so okay, so they're fine, but he's not gonna be fine, is he? He's not gonna check where his colleague is? Shouldn't he have said that he found them Kelly, when me. he found them? Jeez. Yeah, he's being very off. Even even his colleague seems to be no Is he very pale or set the light? What 
the... What's that? Okay, what's he gonna do to her? Is that his wife? Girlfriend? Still not talking to me? Well, Wait, so they had a fight? Before. How many times do I have to say it? But she won't notice that there's something weird because he was already ignoring her. Oh. I kind of did not see that coming. I thought there was going to be something else, not someone shooting somebody like that. that... Call us if you hear anything. Thanks. They're still looking for him. And he's just hiding from them. And I'm sure if he met up with someone, he would tell them not to tell them where he is. You know, maybe we should call the feds. File a missing person. Well, we talked about this. That'd be pissed if we put the feds on his tail. I mean, yeah, he's probably done some you illegal stuff, there, you know. You so you stolen identities, no. lying about being police. He could be dead for all we know. Don't say that. I get that Sam is getting, like, like, desperate. He's given us coordinates. Interesting. Before. The man can barely work a toaster, Dean. He can barely work a toaster. Rockford, Illinois. Okay, and that's interesting. But what? So he's like sending them missions, but he's not gonna tell him them where he is. Like that is, that is so rude. Earlier that night, Kelly and his partner responded to a call at the Roosevelt Asylum. Oh, so their dad has been there before? Seven unconfirmed sightings, two deaths, till last week at least. Okay. And I, I love how Dean is just so like, he just wants us to go there. We're gonna go there. And Sam's like, please. He wants us to do a job, but like... I mean, he could be sending us there by ourselves to hunt this thing. Who cares? Yeah. It strikes me as very weird. Dad's telling us to go somewhere. We're going. I don't know. Maybe it's just Dean's way of, like, processing the fact that they haven't heard from him in a really long time. And he's just sort of not saying it, but hoping that their dad is going to be there. But I totally get Sam, like, he's getting really scared for their dad, and obviously they he wonders where he is. Can I ask you a couple of questions? Much partner? Yeah, I do. Just... Come on, you fool down alone, huh? Oh, they're doing like a good cup, bad cup. <laughs> they're good at acting. I mean, I give that to them. Yeah, of course I did. That guy's a serious jerk. Let me buy you a beer, huh? <laughs> he probably loves calling his brother a jerk. <laughs> Shouldn't be kind of hard in there, buddy boy. I'd sell it, didn't I? <laughs> He's also kind of angry at him for the dad thing, I suppose. So he just took it a bit of extra, Mr. Kelly was a good bit of extra pushing. Class, even yeah. We'll go to tell you about the asylum. Oh, we actually told him a lot. I didn't really expect that, actually. I thought he'd like just shrug it off like, oh, it's just a ghost story. You know how it is. Kids going in there. That's not related. 
But actually, he did. Maybe he does oh, believe that something here. happened then. Smart that they're going in the daytime, though. I would not want to go in the night. In 1972, three kids broke into the South Wing. Oh, so basically, the whole... Well, then why aren't there a ton more deaths? Looks like the doors are usually chained. Oh, okay. Probably to keep something in, I guess. So it's in that wing that bad stuff happens and it makes people go insane you know if somehow. Dead people, Haley Joel. Dude, enough. Strange vibes sometimes. Weird dreams. Yeah, whatever. Don't ask, don't tell. I mean, if they're attracted to it, it won't matter what he says, right? Who's a hotter psychic? Trisha Arquette, Jennifer Love Hewitt, or you? Stop. <laughs> I don't even know who the other two are, to be fair. It's probably some actors. Of course there's a headless doll in there, because that makes so much sense that you'd have that in an abandoned asylum. Okay, that's freaky. I'm sure they tortured a lot of people in here. The way, like, asylums worked back in the day, it's freaky. Electroshock, lobotomies, they did some twisted stuff to these people. Yeah. <laughs> Why is he so cheerful? <laughs> and Sam is so pissed. Or annoyed. Angry, I don't know. My spirit's driving him insane. Kind of like my man Jack in The Shining. He's just busting movie references. About the fact that Dad's not here. Oh, uh, let's see. Never. That is why I always got the extra cookie. I guess Dean is like more used to their dad since like Dean, uh, Sam moved out. But I also understand Sam is just, he just cares. He's just scared for like their dad, you know? Sanford Ellicott. What if one of them go insane though? Then what are they gonna do? Oh, he looks so sad. Sam. Come on in. Wait, he's going to a psychiatrist? Oh, it's the same one. I gotcha. Okay. Okay. So he worked in the asylum? It looks like that asylum was really old. Elica, that name. My oh. Staff at the old okay, so it's his dad. Okay, I'm old. Uh, just been on a on a road trip with my brother. <laughs> a lot of interesting people. <laughs> He's really finding it hard to like tell this story. What was it exactly that happened in the South Wing? I forget. Look. Your 
You're avoiding the subject. That definitely seems to... I get why he thinks that. I'll tell you all about the Roosevelt riot if you tell me something honest about yourself. Is he... <gasps> no, I wanted to see the answer. I wanted to see what he said. You've been there forever. What the hell are you talking about? That makes sense. Cozy? Yeah, and one night in 64, they rioted. Some patients, some staff. I guess it was pretty gory. Oh. Alright, so to sum it up, we got a bunch of violent deaths and a bunch of unrecovered bodies. And they could be Skibarids then, yeah. Tonight, why always in the night? I thought he had the argument that spirits weren't on the clock or like only active at certain times. Or maybe, maybe he said they were, because that would make more sense. That's not them. I was like, is that them? Why would you put a bomb in there? I would not. I thought we were going to a movie. Uh, this is better. It's like we're in a movie. Oh god, she's not happy. <gasps> is she the one who's gonna go? Mm, that bird? Oh my god, that's so rude. If he says something, she's not gonna believe him then. He's like, please. Gavin, no. I'm just gonna be a minute. Why does he want to check that out so badly and why now? Also, that's probably a bad thing to promise. Or maybe something's not gonna get hurt, but gonna get him and he's gonna get hurt. If that makes sense. Okay, I'm gonna prepare myself for like a jump scare. Although it doesn't seem to be something that we can actually see. He's just like, hey, cool. This is so cool. I mean, clearly people have been in there since, because there is, like, spray. <gasps> okay, never mind. Oh, no, that's her, right? But a spirit has, like, possessed her? Sweetie, couldn't take it, huh? She's acting so weird. Oh! Oh, it's not her! Oh, I thought that they were in their body, but maybe they're not. Or maybe they can't be? Okay, that's kind of more freaky in a sense. Or do they- can they like portray the person? Oh, the camera as well! <laughs> feels like- it feels like a um, real Ghostbuster internet people. <laughs> How how is that gonna help though? Like crazy. Oh the orbs. It makes me more nervous than a pissed off spirit. It's a pissed off spirit of a psycho killer. Yeah, that's that's very fair. It's not just any spirit. <gasps> okay. I've always find it like found it weird that like if you close like a hospital or asylum or whatever down okay that's a little scary i'm not gonna lie <laughs> i'm just wondering like why would you just leave it like this 
why not like sell off stuff or like at least like throw them away in the appropriate places and like actually shut it down not just like leave everything why would someone do that i find that very strange I feel like Sam's gonna find something first. Oh, he's following an orb? No? Oh god. But that was just a spirit, right? So, how- Oh yeah, because they have to feel- Gotta find the body, gotcha. So th no, that spirit isn't dead, right? Oh no, that's gonna be her, right? The girlfriend. But maybe like embodied version of her. Oh no, that's her. That is her. It's all right. We're not gonna hurt you. Oh, because no, the I'm guy never came out from here. there. Things. They're like... I'm not gonna leave without Gatvin. Yeah, but she, how is she gonna help? I guess we're gonna split up then. Split up? Isn't that like the worst plan always? Isn't that when the most bad stuff happens? Okay, no, they didn't split up fully, at least. I've seen a lot of horror movies, yeah? I guess so. Do me a favor, next time you see one, pay attention. <laughs> oh god! <laughs> this place is haunted. I mean, he's not wrong, he's not wrong. Pay attention, when someone says the house is haunted, don't go in. Your girlfriend. Wait, is he okay? There was this girl. Did she try to hurt you? He's like, huh? Dude, she kissed me. I'm scarred for life. <laughs> she kissed me. I'm scarred for life. She tried to whisper something in my ear. No, I ran like hell. It would have been really cool if he caught on what on to like what she was he was she was gonna say. The words were not wording. Uh oh. You son of a bitch. Dean, uh, you're a professional. Why did you assume? Oh, that was quick. I was gonna say he should have like noticed there was something weird when the light wasn't working.
See, Kat, this is why you should have stayed outside, okay? I wonder if they're all mean or if it's like some of them are, some of them are not. Or if it's just that they're lonely and they want company, but... Okay, he looks terrifying. Oh! It's not gonna hurt you! Listen to me! You have to face it, you have to calm down! You gotta face it! You face it! No, it's the only way you're gonna get out of there! Okay, so they're all just trying to communicate something. Or how is he so sure that it's all of them though? Oh, he's gonna whisper. Or maybe that's what makes them go insane. Oh, she's not the same, though. 137. It whispered in my ear. 137. Oh. Is that a room? Is that where all the bodies are? Oh, maybe they just want to be freed. Now, you guys ready to leave this place? That's an understatement. Or maybe you both escort them out and then you both go to room 137. You know, just the thought. It's kind of our job. Why would anyone want to die like that? <laughs> no one would. I had a crappy guidance counselor. <laughs> oh my god, why is that so funny? <laughs> He's your boss! He's like, no. Or maybe they're trying to set someone free. Maybe it is not about... Man, I don't know. Or is this the doctor? Oh, maybe they want to avenge the doctor and they're trying to get people to do it? Oh, they're locked in, of course. I think we have a small problem. Let's break it down. I don't think this is gonna work. There's something in here. It doesn't want us to leave. Oh no. She's like patience. No. Oh, he's he's he able to like distinguish it, like Missouri kind of? Or like starting to be able to? Cause that's really cool. He doesn't want them to get- Is it that? Oh, maybe it's the ghost of the doctor that doesn't want them to get out. Patient's journal. Oh gosh, is that what is this what the doctor did to all of them? He's just like, I'm gonna sit down and have a read. Also the scribbly red with the red pen. Looks like someone like taken it like this and like done this. So what the hell are we going to do? For starters, we're not going to panic. Why the hell not? I mean, I totally I... get why you shouldn't. Can either of you handle a shotgun? <gasps> what? No. I can. Of course you can. 
He's like, yeah, you go, girl. That looks so cool. Oh, no, wait, that was not him calling, was it? No, he is not in here. He's in the room, isn't he? Oh, it is the it is the other thing that like he's not in here, is he? This is the room where it happens. So something really bad must have happened in this room because this is where this is where the other one went. The police went like became different. Sam, come on, you're also supposed to be a professional, just realize that that's a bad sign, and that is also a really bad sign. Okay, at least I got the gun. He's got the gun. Maybe the doctor just wants to, like, have new patients, and he doesn't want anyone to leave because of that? Spring. I'm not liking this. Oh, there must have been so many bad things going on here. I mean, if it's a spirit, it could just pop up wherever it wants, right? So maybe look behind you. Oh. Holy frick! I'm going to make you all better. Why? <laughs> I knew that was gonna happen. Why did I still jump? Oh my god. Okay, that's terrifying. So that's gotta be... If we make it out of here alive, we are so glad you know. Damn it, damn it, damn it. Don't shoot, it's me. I totally get why she shot though. At least, you know. What are you still doing here? Where's Sam? Oh, he went to the basement. You called him. I didn't call him. His cell phone rang. He's like, oh no. Did he find something in the books? Watch yourselves. And watch out watch for yourselves. Me. Watch out for me? Like if he comes back and it's not him? Oh, like if there's a double him. Is that what he's referring to? Sam. Answer me when I'm calling you. You haven't seen him, have you? No. How do you know it was him? Because I found his logbook. Apparently he was experimenting on his patients. Some awful stuff. That does not surprise me. Which makes sense. Working on some sort of like extreme rage therapy. He thought that if he could get his patients to vent their anger, then they'd be cured of it. Of course. Making yeah. them so angry they become homicidal. Come on, we gotta find his bones and torture him. I mean, if I was a patient, I'd drag his ass down here and do a little work on him myself. I don't know, it sounds kind of crazy. Yeah. Yeah. Oh my god, so is that... Okay, is it is it the spirit in Sam's body? Or is it some spirit, or the spirit embodying? His. Like, or like, just seem like his person? Well, that's why they call it hidden. He's good. So maybe this room isn't actually has hazardous? Hazardous? How do you even say that? 
Maybe it's more like a room that he wanted. <gasps> He's like. He's like, oh no. The gun down. Is that an order? That's more of a friendly request. <laughs> what are you gonna do, Sam? Gun's filled with rock salt. It's not gonna kill me. Ow, she's gonna hurt though. No, but it'll hurt like a I wondered, like, because that kind of sounded like Sam, not the voice, but like, what he said. But like, the angriest version of him, so maybe that's what happens. I mean, that makes sense, because that's like the treatment. So basically, if you get touched by this doctor, it just brings out all the anger and like, makes it explode. Oh god. That's the difference between you and me. I have a mind of my own. I'm not pathetic like you. Yeah, and Sam would not say that even if he sometimes might feel somehow that way. I'll live here. Let me make it easier for you. Why is he doing this? It's like trying to bring the real Sam out? Like, how does he know it's gonna work? You hate me that much. I mean, the dude like shot his wife over an argument. Sam, you can fight it. You can fight it. Do it. It wasn't loaded. Smart. I was like, why would you take that risk? But now it makes sense. Oh, the room is so freaky. Yeah, I'm not gonna give you a loaded pistol. Yeah, sorry, Sam, but I think that's for the best. Sorry, Sammy. Yeah. <laughs> Always Sammy. Always. Get job scared again. I feel like I might. But can it exist outside? Oh yeah, it just makes them crazy, right? And then continues existing in its own form. Because it's actually them. He just um, makes them really angry about everything they could be angry about. The body it How did they get the body in there? And why would they hide it in a cupboard thingy? <gasps> yep. Ooh. Or did no, maybe the doctor ha Gross. Wait, the doctor probably hid in there and then couldn't get out and died there. Please react to your lamp this time. No, 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 no. I'm going to help you. You are not going. Oh, is 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 like the girl gonna come down with a shotgun or something? That would be kind of cool. Although very stupidly brave as well. No, okay, he's got it. He's like, oh no. Oh, he looks so. Mm. Oh lord, that does not look nice. Oh, not the hand! Eee. Is Sam okay then? Is he like half angry? No, maybe it's like all gone after that. <laughs> He's like... Me, 
<laughs> he looks so confused. Does, does Sam know that he did this, though, is what I'm wondering? Yeah, thanks. No more haunted asylums, okay? Yeah, watch the horror movies carefully. Listen to what they say. At least they were saved. Especially her. She didn't deserve that. She didn't even want to go in there from the start. Set them off the things back there. Okay, no, he does remember. It's like I couldn't control it, but I didn't mean it. Any of it. You didn't, huh? No, of course not. Even if he might feel in that, like, some sense like her? that, it doesn't mean that... No. Uh, I'm not really in the sharing, caring kind of mood. <laughs> it doesn't really mean that he actually meant it. Like, you can be angry at someone and, like, have all of these feelings, but that doesn't actually mean that you meant it in the way that he said it. Oh, he is knocked out. <laughs> He's gonna miss the call from dad. Or is Sam gonna pick up? Hello. Dad? It is! Oh, the way he just sat up! I freaking knew it! I knew it was gonna be! God dang it! Okay, this TV series keeps getting better and better. It is so hard not to binge this. Do you all understand how hard it is to watch one episode a week? One. That's all I have time to watch and like edit and everything. It is so difficult. I want to know what the dad is going to say. And like, how is he going to explain that he sent them there? I need to know. And Dean is like passed out. Oh, it was so good. I hope you all enjoyed this. The last one still sits on the shelf of like favorite episodes, but this one was really good. It was not as scary as I thought, but I did still get jump scared. Like, I knew it was gonna happen, I still jumped. I don't know why. I always do this. <laughs> I really wonder what their dad has got cooking. I need to know. I need to know why, what he's up to. What is he doing? Why is he acting like this? Like, he's gonna have to fully explain himself. And I hope we get some answers next episode. At least some, like, at least he called them. They're gonna get some answers, right? <sighs> Holy freak, I was on edge this episode. <laughs> If you enjoyed this episode if you did it would mean a lot if you leave it gave it a like left a comment about what you felt when you were watching this or maybe if i missed something all of that and i hope that you'll have an amazing rest of your day night morning midnight snack breakfast whichever time it is for you when you're watching this oh and don't forget to subscribe i'll see you very soon bye